Hi there, welcome back to the Innovation YouTube channel. If you have the solar power system, have you ever thought about this? Integrating the solar power controller and the PoE switch to create a single powerful device and that allows for solar energy management, battery management, network data and the power management, and it even has a capability to integrate to a large network. And today, we're thrilled to introduce to you the Innovation Layer 2 Managed Solar PoE Switch with built-in MPBT Solar Controller. And it is uniquely engineered to work directly with the PV solar panels and various type of batteries. And it's supporting maximum of 300 watts of the solar panel input with four PoE output ports, two of all are PoE++ output, and it can stably supply continuous PoE power to various devices, and even some high power consumption device like a PDZ camera. With layer two managed functionality, it can be managed through WebGUI, CLI, or SNMP, providing flexibility and control over the network and building SMP gives you the great scalability to integrate it to a large network. In today's test video, we'll guide you through how to configure battery and the DIP settings since it is critically important for the whole process, and how to set up a solar power system, connect the solar panel and the batteries directly, and power up high power PD devices like PDZ camera and how to set up a UPS power system. And this PoE switch features passive 24 volts PoE output. And before we get started, let's have a quick look and overview of the interface of this device, since this is a quite a bit complicated than the others. All right, now let's get started. This is Linovation solar PoE switch with built-in MPPT solar controller. And we're going to briefly introduce all the ports and the interface and its functions. All right, so now let's start from the front panel. And obviously, as you can see that this PoE switch has four PoE output ports. And where port 1 and 2 support 30 watts PoE output port. And also the passive 24 volts output. And port 3 and 4 support up to PoE++. The total PoE budget is 120 watts. It provides two SAP slots and allowing external connections to other PoE switches or routers and expanding the solar power system network connectivity to a large network. And the control port, and you can connect to the computer and using the Ethernet cable, allowing for remote control of the device through the web interface. And this is solar panel and a battery terminal. And this PoE switch offers a direct interface and a connect to the solar panel and a battery, in which has two slots and you can connect the two solar panels. And this is a UPS DC input. This interface offers a DC input for external UPS power supply. In some specific situations, such as insufficient sunlight to generate enough power through the solar panel connection, Having a UPS can provide continuous power supply to the battery. And you know, this makes sense ideal for UPS applications. And this is a temperature sensor input. To better understand the working environment temp temperature of this PoE switch, and this device provides two temperature sensor interface. This is one, and on the opposite panel, there's another one, TS1. It also comes with a temporary sensor as a accessory product in a package. This is alarm in and out. This is alarm input and output. It offers interface for alarm in and out, allowing external connections to alarm notification equipment. And this is DC input for PoE switch. DC input for PoE switch is typically used as alternative interface. You know, in situations where a solar power system is not connected and the solar controller function of this PoE switch is not utilized. And this port serves as a conventional DC input for standalone PoE switch functionality. 
And this is a battery and a solar panel LED indicator. And you can easily and quickly understand the operational status of this battery and the solar panels, as well as you can see the remaining battery capacity. And last but definitely not least, this is a DIP switch. By adjusting the DIP switch, you can configure connections for the different type of batteries. And today, we'll conduct the first test by integrating the solar PoE switch into the solar power system. And it is directly connected to the solar panel, battery, and it utilizes 60 watts PoE output port to connect the PoE camera. And since this PoE switch supports 24 voltage passive PoE output port, and we prepared 24 volts wireless bridge to join this test. All right, so before we get started, we're gonna introduce all the devices that we'll be using today's test. This is a Linovation solar power PoE switch with MPPT solar controller building. And this is a battery and a PoE camera and a 100 watts solar panel and temperature sensor. And this is 24 volt wireless bridge. And this is a power supply with output 24 volt. All right, so now let's get started with the first step is a DIP switch set up. And make sure to set a correct battery type, voltage, and a solar panel type. Otherwise, the system will not work in properly or even damaged. All right, after the DIP switch is set up, uh, then we connect the battery. And then we connect the solar PoE switch to the solar panel. And this step is optional, but if you have the UPS system, which means the extra, the external power source, and you can connect the DC input for the UPS power application. But if you don't have, skip this step if you do not use it. This is from the panel of this solar PoE switch and it has four PoE output port and total PoE budget 120 watts. And meanwhile, the, the port one and two support a passive 24 volts PoE output. And then we're gonna connect the PoE camera to the port three or four and the wireless bridge will connect to port one or two. 